Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Jeremy here at Hilt's Machine Works. And we are gonna be doing something kinda of cool today. Uh, you might wonder why I have a Coleman camp stove in my shop. Well, it's a nice February day. It's actually close to 40 degrees here in Northern Maine, which is a big change from the negative 30 we had about a, uh, two weeks ago. And I figured we'll open the shop door, air this place out, and while we get the door open, why don't we do a little camp cooking? We are going to make today an old school machine shop cutting oil that you can read about in things like the South Bend book, How to Run a Lathe, or in the older machinery's handbooks. Uh, back Way back before we had a lot of the modern cutting fluids that they use with CNC and all that, they had a formula for cutting oil that was a lard-based, mineral oil-based cutting oil. So I've got here is just some straight mineral oil uh, I've got some lard here that I got from the grocery store. And I'm also going to drop in a little bit of paraffin wax into the mixture. And we're going to heat this up, get it all into one consistency. And uh, what we do is we're going to put about 40% lard and about 55% mineral oil. And then the last bit will be the paraffin wax. And when we're done, we're going to test this sucker out on some uh, period correct equipment. We are gonna run a little bit on a 1949 Logan 922, my small lathe, and a SIP drill press that's over 100 years old. So we can get the uh, kind of the feel for what the guys would have been doing way back in the World War I and II era using their lard-based cutting oil. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, let's take a spoonful of lard. Drop that bad boy in there, if we can. Holy cow, this stuff is nasty. I wonder if that's not good for you. Actually, we'll do two, well, one and a half spoonfuls of lard. Let's come up here and watch this stuff kind of turn into an oil. We're going to heat her up here. I think the shop's going to smell kind of like a bacon fat when we're done with this. Okay, we're going to drop in the paraffin wax. Just let that melt down, join in the old lard oil. Now I'm gonna add in some mineral oil and I'm gonna do at least, it said in the machinery's handbook, anywhere from 20 to 40% was a normal bit on the uh, mineral oil. So let's do one, Now we're gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna set this outside and I'm gonna let it cool down. Like I said, it's about 40 degrees outside. I wanna see if it kind of congeals up a little bit. Okay, it has been cooling here for a few minutes and it is congealed up. It is like a, a paste consistency, thinner than a peanut butter. I thought it looked like it was gonna be a much harder than it is. It looks like it doesn't take much of this stuff to, to do something, so. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn on the Logan 922. And, holy cow, yeah, you don't need much. You don't need much at all. Try to kind of paint it on here. Look at the smoke, it's very smoky. Oh, it smells just like a bacon breakfast here. Wow. It's gonna be very interesting to see here how this how this goes. Actually the finish is pretty nice on this. I kinda like it. I'm impressed with this lard oil. Let's try it on tapping. And I'm over here at the old SIP flat belt, quick change, speed drill press that I got out of the paper mill for 200 bucks. Still needs to, I haven't gone over this machine yet. The handle's broken and all that. I was gonna power tap with it. And then I thought, well, it doesn't really have a good speed for the power tapping like I want to do on this right now. So I just drilled the hole and 
Um, now, I've got the tap ready, and I thought, you know, it might be better just to do this hand tapping anyways, because it's gonna give me a good feel for, for things as I'm going. So I'm just kind of painting on the old lard oil. And let me get the quill cool feet out of there. All right, now, obviously I normally would use two hands with this, but I got one hand on the camera. Okay, so let's try this out. Doing it one-handed was kind of, you know, this is actually going really nice. Wow, I can't believe how, man. Half inch 13 thread. Oh, that went through that like butter. Oh, it went through it like lard, mineral oil. Wow, I can't believe that. This is pretty cool. You know that? I can't believe it. Boy, you get the smoke though. Holy mackerel. Here we go. Stupid drill truck slipped. Say she did pretty good. Threads look good in there. They don't look like they're torn or anything. The fat seemed to collect a lot of the chips, which is not much different than any other cutting oil, but overall, it made power tapping pretty easy. Okay, so overall, we did pretty good. It looked like it worked well on the lathe with that, um, you know, the, the harder steel from the rollers. Worked pretty well drilling and tapping on the hot rolled, hot rolled steel plate. I'd say overall, this is a pretty darn good cutting oil that you can make at home. You know, uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is my wife has a business and she makes uh, jars of salves and chapsticks and whatnot. I'm actually gonna make this into a and put it into a jar, or even on a chapstick style thing where I can just dab it onto the uh, tap. I think it'll be kind of cool. And I've got a little mini fridge here in the shop. I'll store it in there to see how long it lasts before it goes bad. The large said it doesn't need to be refrigerated, and it seemed to last a long time, according to the jar. So if you are interested in doing this, I will leave. Um, you saw me do it at the beginning, but I'll leave at the end of the video a little recipe for this lard mineral oil paraffin wax solution. Tell me in the comments what you think. Are you going to try it? Are you going to have a... Have a little backup stash of this in case you run out of regular cutting oils. Are you going to switch over entirely? Let me know. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it.